असिस्टेंट सी ए रतन सिंह तंवर जी थैंक यू सर एम आई ऑडिबल सर या यू आर ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल ओके लेट मी शेयर माई स्क्रीन एज वेल You are on mute. Is my screen visible to you? Yeah, screen is visible, but the content. Okay, means uh, I have not shared my screen yet because I am uh, viewing the only. The, the Zoom yes. screen is visible. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I uh, see Ratan Singh Tawar. Chartered Accountant in Practice in Bilwara, Rajasthan. Uh, today, uh, I'm what I'm going to uh, demonstrate is one uh, customer access portal. Uh, being a Chartered Accountant in Practice, we have to interact with our customers, uh, client, which generally like uh, we interact for the purpose of the either documentation to provide them or us from our customers. So. we have to go to our like we uh, use some software to manage the compliances income tax returns gst returns and we save in particular folder and provide to them whenever they ask whenever they come for uh, that document we go and access from that document and provide to them so for uh, to overcome uh, from this repetitive task i have created uh, one uh, web based link which i can provide to my customer and they can access their data from my uh, web server so i can i uh, means uh, uh, like avoid the i uh, means uh, reduce this uh, time consuming co uh, process so let me show my uh, web application link how it's work i have created this uh, application by using the chat gpt so this is my url to uh, go to that url this will ask for security purpose when my customer is uh, trying to access their data he have to provide his pan number and date of birth these uh, details are stored in my web server as a client list in csv format so if uh, what the client is uh putting here is matching with that sheet that csv file then that person will allow dejan uh, to view their data stored in my web portals so now see uh, like i have selected some uh, customer details one of the customer he want to log in and access his data want to download some like, like his returns balance sheet and such he will put here his date of birth for validating to authenticate his whether he is the right person or not once i click on this login button now i will load uh, land to uh, customer portals here you can view the Nine, document okay. available second last data yes. sorry sir now you can view like uh, in his folder folder uh, named by his pen number and here he can upload document from his side and he can download the document available in my uh, folders so if he want to download he can download the document like i have download this document he can save in his device where he is working so uh, here he is uh, means it's giving one uh, sign like a insecure download uh, web blog i he can go and download insecure file because i have not protected it by using ssh it's uh, currently using http format if he have to uh, upload any document if we need some uh, data we he can upload any document from his side as well 
like I have to upload this document again or any other document in MCA uh, folder. There is one document available already. When I will upload it, this another document will be added there. So this was how he can download that his data. Now come to DPDP Act. Like customer have to provide their I means our client should give consent to use their data for particular purpose. For that, I also uh, enabled one option, check in uh, box whether they are granting access, consent to access their data, use their data or not. Let me uh, log out from here. If I log into any new customer, which is not provided yet consent, let me use this. And login. This customer is a uh, login first time, so he can grant or uh, not to accept it. He can grant any for the purpose, like I am granting access to income tax or GST purpose. So this act consent will be recorded to my consent list. Excel sheet I have created there. So for what purpose he have granted access will be stored there and submit the request. Access is granted. Now here no document is there. So he can upload new document. If I have stored some data, he can download it. If he have to upload any document first time, he simply can select and upload the document. Now document will be available in his uh, folders. Let me upload it again. Like in GST fo uh, folder, there is one document stored. Like this, we can, and he can revoke his consent whenever he wants. He can revoke the consent and revoke the consent. So, by using this link, I have tried to resolve the like the time-consuming process to provide the data to my client. They can download, and they can upload from their side, as well as they can uh, give the consent to use their data for their compliance purpose. For this, I have used uh, ChatGPT and uh, Python. Python and ChatGPT helped me to write the code. And uh, my data is stored on Amazon uh, Web Server from uh, where customer can download at any time, like 24 into 7 access is there. So this is from my side. If you have any questions and query, I'm open for it. Thank you, Ratan. Yes. Uh, you, Ratan, can you tell me uh, how your uh, system is different from MS SharePoint? You see, even in uh, Microsoft Office 365, there's an option of SharePoint, whereby yeah. I can create folder for my client, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just giving you one perspective. Whereby okay. I can create a, a particular folder for my client, share that link with my client, and that folder mm -hmm. is uh, linked uh, with the email ID of my client, right? So no one can access it unless and until he punches OTP. There is, there is, oh, everything is uh, inbuilt within the SharePoint itself, right? Okay. So why shouldn't I use uh, uh, that tool rather than uh, your tool? Sir, I uh, didn't use yet SharePoint as I as you are uh, means uh, explaining it. Uh, means I was discussing with my friends. Uh, he told me that they are using uh, uh, Gmail drives. Okay, and they are creating uh, for each client one separate email ID and giving access for that drive. So I thought that how we can overcome from that kind of the situation. Then no, I, I don't think so. The Gmail to provide that kind of functionality as, no, no, as no, far what, as my knowledge is. No, what they are using, like my friend told me that. We are creating email ID for my client. They are creating email ID and giving link of that drive to them. So in that case, let's say, I, I got your point. Let's say there are 50 yeah. clients, right? Yes. So you have created 50 email IDs and there are 50 yes, different yes. drives, right? So, so yes, what I'm I... saying is, so what I'm saying is rather than creating yes. 50 different clients, the drive hmm. is mine only, right? Yes. Let's say Deepak Bholusari has created its own SharePoint. And you, even in that SharePoint, 
I have created five, fifteen different folders or fifty different folders for different clients, right? Right, right. And those those folders are dedicatedly the link to that folder is shared with the client. So even okay. if let's say, even if let's say that link is somehow got shared with Ratan Singh Tanwar, okay, right? Unless and until Ratan Singh Tanwar punches in OTP, which is delivered to Ratan Singh's email ID exclusively. He okay. can't have that access, yes. right? Yes. So, so the security is inbuilt in the SharePoint itself, right? Uh, yes. So we are, a lot of our clients are using it, so that's what I am. Mm -hmm. So I am. I am trying to understand because on top of that, you are also asking for the pan. You are also asking for yes. the uh, data number. Data number for verification. DP DP Act is still not uh, yet implemented. Yes, not. But means people are uh, proactively uh, started to implement it. Yeah, but the thing is, but the thing is, how have you have you thought about it? Because in future, PAN and uh, date of birth, it's also part and parcel of uh, private information as per DPDP Act, right? Yes. So why should I go with the that solution, the one you have created? Why shouldn't I go with the solution which is already available with me? Okay, miss, because I uh, miss already told you that I not used that uh, miss, uh, system uh, about you are talking. So I created for uh, this hackathon purpose this. And even by using this, if I am sharing the link to all you people, sir, if you don't have the pen number of that client, you cannot log in and that credentials. And in future, what I'm going to uh, means implement, I can uh, enable OTP based authentic I mean, uh, authentications. So if he uh, is having the OTP, then he will able. To but do you think? But do you think that pen and date date of birth is the right mix of? Uh... Uh, giving Who somebody access? access because it this this information can be easily easily be leaked or shared. Yes, oh. yes. Unless and until yes, you have a you have a secondary uh, mechanism like OTP Second, or something means, like uh, that. Two factor authentication uh, means if I am able to uh, get you, you are talking about that, right? Hmm. Yes. So for that, what I will do, I will implement like OTP based authentications. So if you are having pen and my date of birth, you will have to provide OTP, which will received on your mobile, uh, your contact number, which I have in my database. Then you will be able to get access to my folders. Okay. Yes. Dawalji and uh, Akhilji, over to you. I think Ratan, my Sorry. question was more or less similar. In, when in my case, a lot of my client uses Dropbox and a Dropbox along with the 2FA. So you cannot have a Dropbox access by anybody else. And along with the additional authentication factor of an OTP base, so you can even have that authenticator apps where the every 30 seconds, the, the new code is generated, which client has to punch in to get an access to those Dropbox files. So um, that is what my, even my question was going to be, that if there are already solutions, why we want to reinvent the cycle? Okay, sir. As I mean, sir, we have not used these. Uh, you have addressed that point already to so, so I that's, that's it. Yes, yes. from my side that what a solution I can provide to like my clicks. Understood. Me. Understood. Yes. Got it. Yes. No and uh, for authentication purpose, I used currently like the pen number plus date of birth, which is stored in my database. If that matched, then you will able to get access. Got it. Yes. Any questions? Akilji, any question from your side? Sir, no, sir. Same question. We Thank you, Ratan Singh. Thank you very much. Okay, welcome. Thank you, everyone, for hearing me. Rishi, uh, Rishi, over to you, please.